Yes, indeed. I eat entirely way too much McDonald's due to the fact that when I go hunting or fishing, it seems like everywhere I go, every spot, you know, whether it's I'm hunting or fishing, wherever I'm going, it goes by this one little lonely McDonald's that uh, you get fat at because it's so convenient just to stop by. <coughs> oh. Welcome back to another episode of Bobby Guy Films. We are bank lining again. If you watched any of the last videos, you've seen that the water was too high. I had bad luck with uh, high water uh, situations. But the luck wasn't that great. I since have went kayaking in the wind and realized that I hate kayaks. And now I'm back to my roots and we're going to get back on some bank lining. Today, unfortunately, all I have is some goldfish. Half of them are dead that I'll probably have to end up using later. Uh, the other half are in the water already. I only have four lines set. I'm going to try to get some more goldfish when I get back to the house and whatnot. But, um, yeah, so small goldfish. Not the ideal situation. So, uh, it's almost getting dark here. I hope you guys can see me all right. Uh, like I said, we have four lines set. Uh, hopefully I see you guys back in the dark. Oh, oh yeah, and another deal. If we return in the dark, that means that we might have had a big one on because I have really, really good high hopes for the situation with the river. I mean, the river is perfect, perfect. I just don't like the bait. I wish I had bluegill and perch, so not prime on the bait but it worked last time we're gonna see what happens real quick drop a comment below let me know where you guys are from and let me know the biggest flathead you've ever caught i think that'd be something cool to uh to go around now ask everybody see where you guys are from tell me how you caught it. it was it on the river was it on a lake how'd you catch it were you bank lining hand fishing whatever you're doing let me know down low guys but uh if we return back in the dark that means that uh, we might have caught a Big and look at the look, <laughs> look at, at the, this guy. Yeah. Oh my god. I can't even it's so small I can't even see it with your bright light, dude. Here move it. There you go. That is how big a bait we're dealing with. Petco is closed. Oh my god, that's Walmart shit. 28 cents. Oh it's quality. They're Asian bait. Dude, should we even try it? Look at the look at the hook compared to the bait. I don't even think. What the hell? I don't think you can get it on a piece of spine without killing it. All right. Well, oh my God, this is the smallest fish I've ever hooked. Well, that's now. about redneck as shit. Ever? We're still gonna send it. <laughs> <laughs> He's sent and done. All right, let's keep checking these damn lines. Guys, this is Bug again from uh, Yo. from the first flathead video when we caught that 18, 20 pounder. Then we Ooh, caught yeah, that 30 that. pounder the next weekend. Hey man, let me get one of them fishing out of there, man. Good luck. Good luck. I'll find you the biggest one I can. Hey, there you go. Good idea. Oh, hey, we got them dead ones in your truck. We need to use them. Them are big. Yeah, don't be falling, dog. Well, lead the way, creeper. All right, just step light, man. So it's pretty sketchy, walking through. It's still flooded a little bit, not a bunch. Bait is gone on about everything so far, which is uh, just great. It's not a bad thing. At least, you know, something is taking your bait. I don't know how in the hell I didn't hook them fish if it was fish. You, get, you good? I don't know how I didn't hook fish. If it was fish, I got them, got them off because they're brand new circle hooks that old Chris gave me. Still got the bait. Still got the bait, and it's alive, dude. Dude, I got a hole in these muck boots. Oh, do you? Yeah, I can feel it seeping through right now. Oh man, it's wet. Damn it. But I lost bait there and I lost bait there. Those two spots are hot, man. Well, we have the uh, bank lines still set. Here's Tyler off the last big uh, bank line video. They're over there fishing with dead perch. Caught them a nice and. All right, we're about to go check these lines. Look at that one. 
Got a little guy there. There, at least someone's catching them. They're catching them. We ain't. Are they on again? Yep. Old bug. He's hooked up. Look at him. He's hooked up. Whoa, that was on a goldfish. Yep. Get him up in here now. This one's on the goldfish. On the goldfish. Oh yeah. Wow, they're a little guy. He's a little guy. He's, he's a swimmer though. He's barely hooked. Little guy. Call us Dink Central first fish of the <laughs> night, baby. Hey, get her rolling now. Get her rolling. <laughs> uh oh. Chris got a nice fish Probably on. Probably the size of the ones we've been catching. That's what they've been We still got lines in the water on the river, but uh, we're up here fishing the pond. We've put some good fish in this pond. Well, the fish Where'd you get yourself? Oh, easy killer! <laughs> Where'd you get yourself? How big would you say is that for Maybe three? Yeah. Three I'm a nice channel cat. Like or Tyler tearing it up. Alright. Alright, back here the next day to pull these lines. It's uh, Sunday morning, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to y'all. Y'all mama's watching, if, if you are. Nothing on this one. Bait's even gone. Man, this river really came up over morning time here. Came up quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a fish. Yes. Yes, it feels big. Or it feels nice, at least. He's nice. Just a channel, not a nice channel. Six and a half pound fish. That's a nice girl. Look at the chunker belly on her. It's just a big old belly on her. Real nice fish. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, release her back in the water, but I wanted to get a weight on her and see what she was at here. We uh, checked these lines and you know, I'll tell you, I'm starting to figure out more and more it's not just about having live bait. I'm gonna have to put some time and effort in to bait and uh, get me a stock up on some on some bluegill and perch. Uh, these goldfish, the small ones, they're just not doing the trick. Actually, my buddy Chris from the last video, he gave me some bigger perch last night. I also uh, cut some perch up and threw them on. I can't remember if that line had cut bait or if it had uh, just a dead perch, but I knew it, I know it was a perch of some sort. I want to uh, thank you guys for watching trying to get bigger fish I'm gonna have to uh, invest some time on some live bait keeping live bait at the house keeping perch at the house uh, get a tank set up if you guys want to see how I do that and how I end up setting up an aerator system I'm probably gonna do a decent sized one and uh, probably gonna use an old deep freeze to do that so if you guys want to see that let me know down low and uh, thank you guys for watching have a good one happy Mother's Day tell your mama you love them Peace.